welcome to Morgul's Kitchen, where today I'm going to be doing gammon, with a nice sticky glaze. Everyone else does it with Coca-Cola or Pepsi, not me, I do it differently. I do it with Dr Pepper. Make sure your gammon hand is unsmoked and well whisked. Roughly chop two sticks of celery. Now get yourself an onion, preferably red. Cut this in half, add a few chops and just use the meat for flavour. Give yourself a large pot to slow cook this in. Now you want it to overhang over the meat, as you're going to be covering the meat completely in your liquid, which in this case will be Dr Pepper. Add the roughly chopped celery, and then pop in your two halves of onion either side. It stops it moving about. Pop in two star anise, one, two. Then you're going to want to add one stick of cinnamon. There you go, pop that in the middle. Then I like to add some whole cloves. In this case, I use about four. There you go. To add depth and flavour, you want to add about six bay leaves. Just throw them in. And some peppercorns. Now I've got my peppermill here. Take a couple out. I'd say roughly about mm, 15. Throw them in. Now this is where the magic happens. Dr Pepper, my favourite. Top that up. Now don't be afraid. We put the general to it. Add loads of it. Wait for the frizzing to go down just to see if it's covered. If not, top it back up again. I'm going to cover that meat. Perfect, look at that. Now I've got one of these, an instant pot, but a slow cooker will do. Set your settings on high for two hours. Remove your gammon from the liquor and give it a well deserved rest. Whilst that's happening, you want to reduce your stock to half the measure. Give this a good stir to ensure you get all the caramelisation off the bottom of the pan and the sides. That's where your flavour is. After that, you want to very gently peel back the skin to reveal the gelatinous fat underneath. Very soft and gooey. Try to score this in a crisscross motion, but try not to damage the meat underneath. Then what I like to do is stud this with whole cloves makes it very pretty and also when it cooks down it reddens down the fat and carries the flavour through the meat. Now it's time to make your sticky glaze using the concentrated Dr Pepper liquor. To do this you want a good tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Wazz this up to make a nice sticky glaze. Pop your gammon in the oven and then paint it over with a pastry brush with your glaze, ensuring it gets in all the nooks and crannies. Then cook for another 20 minutes and add another generous glaze. Cook for a further 25 minutes until done. Once it's cooked, you can see you get this lovely caramel bark and the meats are so flaky and soft. There you have it, my gammon with Dr. Pepper. You check out the bark on that. What a flavour in that. Proper nice bit of meat, look at it. Nice bit of gammon. Lovely sticky coating. Let's give it a go, shall we? Mmm. So many flavours going over your tongue, lovely. Mmm, really nice. 